Hi everyone, Sid here back again, ready to shave. Um, today's topic, um, I wasn't too sure what I wanted to speak about, so I delved into the pool of things I can just pull a rant on um, out from out of my ass. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to say today's lather will be supplemented by um, tea tree oil, patchouli, and jasmine. And today's aftershave will be ProRazzo Blue. Uh, so yeah, um, for today's video, I'd like to share with you real quick um, the three rules of interpreting body language. I think that um, it's uh, an important topic in uh, dealings with people to uh, detect, um, well, I mean the straightforward example, which is the first one that came to mind, is detecting deception, that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't really want to get into uh, the, the what each gesture means. I think there are better sources uh, than that. But um, even the videos that I've seen that like have uh, this, this laundry list of... Um, of gestures and what they mean and whatnot don't into go uh, don't go into these three rules where I haven't seen much any so uh, the first one is to read gestures in clusters uh, which means like the um, the stereotypical signs like uh, this means open this means closing off um, face scratching is uh, uh, often associated with deception, although uh, it's more complicated than that. Um, and the thing is, is to take into account all the different things that happen at the same time. Uh, so, an example of a gesture cluster uh, that can be um, that can be potentially misrepresented or misinterpreted, uh, rather, by a, a novice who isn't um, used to uh, dealing with gestures and clusters is the one I will do right after I add this patchouli. There we go. So, let's say you say something and uh, the person reacts like this. He goes like that. So basically, you have the, uh, the half cross and uh, he's taking a step back and all that stuff. Um, the, a way to misinterpret that, uh, that gesture cluster would be that uh, the person uh, disagrees or has rejected whatever you have said. But the way I interpret it is that um, what was said impacted the person so much that you kind of have to take a step back and think about it and think about how um, that impacts you with the, the, the hand on the head, with the, your head is like heavy with thoughts and that kind of thing. Um, so the, the second rule of um, body language interpretation is to check for congruence. So basically, you want to make sure that, uh, for instance, all the gestures in the gesture cluster tell the same story. Like uh, the example I gave earlier, because I'm not going to be able to move around a lot, uh, is, um, is an example of one where all the gestures tell the same story of, man, uh, that's so true, what does this mean to me, and yada yada yada. It's a person who has to take a temporary break in the conversation to reassess things. Um, so, um, if basically the uh, a general rule of thumb that I that I go with is if uh, someone's words and their body language tell different stories, you can basically ignore the words. Um, it's more complicated than that in context, and I'll get into uh, uh, tips for how to improve your skills uh, towards the end of this video. But um, the. You know what? I'm gonna lather my mouth and collect my thoughts. I'll be right back. I hate to give another example with um, a lather all over my face, but I wanna do it now before I. Um, forget. Basically, uh, an example of a gesture cluster where there is one gesture that tells a different story than the rest is part of the reason why the, um, the sideline glance uh, has this kind of creepy vibe to it, where um, my attention is kind of focused here, but my eyes pointing that way tell that where I'm really at is where my eyes are, basically. Um, and... 
Let's move on to the third rule. I really don't think there's that much to add after this, so this probably isn't going to be an entire shave video. Uh, it's to read, uh, read gestures in context. So basically, in the, uh, the definitive book of body language, uh, which is where it's like the only body language book that I own and uh, it suits my needs. Um, I'll put a link to it in the, the links below this video. But uh, basically, uh, in that book, uh, at the page where they're uh, telling you to read gestures in context, there's a picture of um, some dude waiting for the bus outside in the snow and he's sitting on the bench and his arms are like this and you can see the some like breath uh, breath lines arising from his mouth and he's uh, like this and the text under the uh, the picture read closed off or just cold and other examples of uh, reading gestures in uh, context is with regards to the timing of what just happened also um, and I was thinking of this as I was setting up uh, for this video um, part of the reason why uh, in Big Bang Theory Sheldon has uh, difficulty interpreting sar detecting sarcasm is because he doesn't read gestures in context, or at least that that's uh, how it was at first, and what gave him trouble. Because if you're goofy scientific experiment set off some death trap in your neighbor's apartment, and uh, you look to them and say, you look perplexed, and the person <laughs> says, oh, I'm peachy key, don't worry about me. Uh, you know, that's a clear example of sarcasm. I don't want to go too deep, too deep into that, but there are two quick tips that I want to uh, share with you before I let you go. Um, is that the... Um, like, if you want to get good at this, a good mentality to have when you're trying to tell how to interpret a gesture cluster is uh, to read it as... Um, uh, a cluster of possibilities where like the um, the gesture cluster could mean either this or this or this and try to narrow down the uh, the possibilities as the conversation goes along yeah I definitely under lathered today but uh, there's enough to get the job done so I'm just gonna go through with it uh, so basically yeah like when you uh, an example of this in the poker world would be when uh, uh, you look at how someone has played the hand, let's say in Hold'em, uh, from the flop, all, uh, from the pre-flop, uh, flop, turn, and uh, river. Um, you look at the story of the actions and you'll often find that um, the way the way that you play uh, small pocket pair can look like the way you play suited connectors. Uh, if that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry about it. And uh, um, But the, the idea is when you look back and uh, remember the story as you saw it, uh, the the way to um, to tell is that you have a, a tree of possibilities that you're uh, trimming trees um, trimming limbs off of and you might not necessarily get down to one but uh, it's the better approach to uh, to go with let me uh, I'll be right back <clears throat> so uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention uh, to, to help you trim down those possibilities and uh, become more and more accurate with your reads um, over time is to study on yourself because the, the thing is you, um, you can never ultimately tell what a person is thinking 
Um, but you have access to your own thoughts, uh, presuming enough self-knowledge, that if you take the time to interpret your own body language and, and realize that, uh, you know, for instance, when, um, when I'm having a conversation with someone and I notice that I cross my arms and I say, oh yeah, I really did disagree with, uh, with what just happened or what, what was just said, uh, little things like that. So that's about it uh, for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please like, uh, share. You can leave comments uh, below this video right here. And um, if you can uh, subscribe to me on YouTube and on Twitter, I am at SidRockMTL. My Tumblr page is SidRock.tumblr.com. Links to all this are below this video. Thank you very much for watching again, and I will see you soon.